Hey what's up creators and welcome back to the first hour of Unreal Engine course. In this video we're going to start building our heads up display for our coin collection system. That being said we're going to be introducing you to UMG which is Unreal Engine Motion Graphics which is going to allow us to build heads up displays, menus and other user interfaces. So we're going to start that by creating a widget blueprint then we're going to add some text to the screen so that way that we have got the foundation. And then over the next few videos, we're going to start showing you how we can actually add it to the player screen and also how we can start adding code to drive all of that. With all of that being said, let's just very quickly start off to an introduction to widget blueprints in Unreal. Widget blueprints are going to give you access to UMG. And these widget blueprints are going to come in two parts. The first part is our design view, which is going to allow us to customize the visuals of our widgets for our user interfaces. But then with these widget blueprints, because they are blueprints, they're also going to have a code element too. So we can start using code to determine what should happen when you click on buttons or what numbers should be displayed on our heads up display and all of that kind of stuff. Let's jump straight into Unreal Engine and show you how all of that looks. So inside of Unreal Engine, what we're going to do is go to our content drawer. And inside of our first hour of Unreal Engine folder, this is where we're going to create our very first user interface widget. You can do this by just going to the empty space, right clicking, going to user interface and create a widget blueprint. We're going to be using this parent class for user widget. And I'm going to give this the name WBP underscore HUD. That WBP just meaning widget blueprint and then HUD is just heads up display. Anyway, this widget blueprint is essentially going to be a type of blueprint which is going to allow us to have 2D visual components along with um, blueprint aspects of this as well so that we can not only have the visuals but also have our blueprint driving all of this. The blueprint is going to allow us to do things like what should happen when a button is clicked or how many coins should be displayed on the coin counter. Let's jump in and show you how UMG works a little bit. So what I did there was I simply just double clicked on my widget blueprint. Inside of here, we've got two main modes. We've got the designer mode, which is going to allow us to actually control the visuals. And then you've got the graph mode in the top right, which is going to allow us to control the blueprints for this user interface. And we can switch between these different modes really easily by clicking the buttons in the top right hand corner. You have all of your components on the left hand side within your palette, and then you're going to be dragging those and editing them within your space that you've got here. So let's just jump straight into showing you how this is actually going to work. So within my palette, the very first thing that I need to do is take a canvas panel and drag and drop it into this empty space. This canvas panel is going to do exactly as it says on the tin. It's just going to give us a blank canvas for us to work with. But with that done, I can then remove that filter and I can start using some of the components that are here on the left hand side, such as buttons or images or text or progress bars, you know, all of the things that's going to make up some user interface. So let's take a piece of text, for example. And all I'm going to do is move it into the top right hand corner of my screen, almost like it's my coin counter. And all I did there to do that was just drag and drop it onto my canvas. And then with it selected, I can start changing some of the properties on the right hand side in the details panel. First thing I might want to do is take the details and change the name of this. I'm going to change this to be txt underscore coin counter. You know, just good practice to start giving our components names. I could change the text. So by default, instead of it saying text block, I could tell it to say zero zero. I could change things like the color and the opacity. So that way it's now like a goldy kind of color. So it matches our coins. I could change the size. I could change the font, the typeface. There's so, so many different things that you can do inside of here. And I really do want to encourage you to pause this video, just go through some of these different settings and just see what works for you. For now though, what I want to do just for this test is I'm just going to adjust my size down to something like this. 
And then I'm going to change my justification to be on the right, scale it down, and just put it in the top right hand corner, just like this, saying zero, zero, so we've got a bit of a coin counter. Now, to add to this, when we're creating any kind of user interface element, we need to know whereabouts on the screen it should be anchored to. What I mean by that is for it to display properly, like let's say I want it to always be in that top right hand corner, I need to go over to anchors in the top right in my details panel and just anchor it to that corner so it knows its position is relative to the top right hand corner of the viewport. Or if you want it to be in the center and you always want it to be in the center, just anchor it to the center. But just for this coin counter, make sure that you're anchoring it to the top right hand corner. Hit compile and save when you're ready. So that's it for this video. By now you should have a widget blueprint and you should have some text in the top right hand corner. It is us laying the foundation for the coin collection system. In the next few videos, we're going to be showing you how we can add this to the player screen, but then also how we can start using code to drive these values so the player knows how many coins they picked up. All really exciting stuff. Move on to the next video to continue your Unreal Engine learning journey. And as always, stay awesome, keep creating.